YouTube, it's Sia, and this is the official announcement for Schwabathon. So Schwabathon is an idea I had a while ago, and I've been wanting to do it, and I finally just decided to, you know what? September felt like the perfect month to go ahead and do it. So basically, it's just gonna be the entire month of September, it's just gonna be to read Victoria Schwab books. Um, there's no challenges. It's gonna be super chill. Just it's gonna be super chill and casual. Um, I probably will do some like reading sprints. I have a Twitter which I will link down below. And of course, if anyone out there is interested in helping host some Twitter sprints or wants to have a live show um, where we can talk about you know specific books, or if anyone wants to create like a book club thing um let me know down in the comments below i'd love any help that anyone is interested in doing um i have been wanting to do this for quite a while it's kind of just an excuse um for me because i have some backlog titles of victoria schwab books that i haven't read yet and i feel like it would be really fun to do a readathon dedicated to her this is the official announcement like i said it's just going to be super casual super chill there's no challenges there's no like read so many pages there's so many books it's literally just spend all month reading victoria schwab books if you want to read one book great if you want to read five books great if you want to read a book a week that's great too. If you want to try to read all of her books, even better, more power to you. I have a few books that I'd like to read. This is also kind of doubling up as my September TBR. So I'm really excited to just spend all of September reading Victoria Schwab. Um, and if you're interested in joining me, let me know down in the comments below. Um, and I'll just show you guys what I plan on reading. The first books that I'd like to try to tackle during Schwabathon is actually this Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This is obviously one of her more YA novels. Um, I actually have not read this yet. I've been wanting to for so long. Um, I don't really have an excuse as to why I haven't read it. I own it. I have been wanting to read it for so long, so I'm so excited to hopefully get to, I'm really, really excited to get to this in the month of September. And then I do also have it, the sequel, Our Dark Duet. I don't know if I'm going to get to the sequel because the sequel is quite a chunker, um, but I definitely would like to try. I do know that I'm definitely going to pick up the Savage Song and then hopefully maybe at least get a little bit of this read um, and kind of binge this series because this has been on my TBR for such a long time. So I'm so excited to pick up this series and give it a read during Schwabathon in the month of September. I feel like they're very atmospheric and with fall coming in, I feel like these are going to be the perfect reads. I am also going to pick up V.E. Schwab's Shades of Magic the Steel Prince. I am so excited to finally pick this up. I picked it up. I bought it months ago and I have been waiting for this readathon to go ahead and read it because the Darker Shade of Magic series is one of my favorite adult fantasy series um, and I am so excited for this graphic novel and I just absolutely love the art style in this and um, I feel like this is just gonna be the perfect like dark fall read. If you don't know, this is a prequel series to the Darker Shade of Magic that follows Maxim who is the adopted brother, who is adopted father to Kel. And um, that's all I really needed to know. And kind of wanting to go into this, not knowing a lot, but I am so excited to finally pick this up for the month of September. I'm also gonna pick up a oldie but goodie, and that is The Archived by Victoria Schwab. This is another one of her YA novels. I believe it's one of her very first YA novels. Um, this has been on my shelf for quite a while. I'm wanting to read it for a really long time. I'm so excited to finally get to it. This just is another book that feels like it's the perfect kind of fall atmospheric book. So I'm really, really excited to give this a read. I honestly don't know much about it. Imagine a place where the dead rests on shelves like books. Everybody has a story to tell, a life seen in pictures that only librarians can read. The dead are called histories and the vast realm in which they rest is the archive. Da first brought Mackenzie Bishop here four years ago when she was 12 years old, frightened but determined to prove herself. Now Da is dead and Mac has grown into what he once was, a ruthless keeper, tasked with stopping often violent histories from waking up and getting out. Because of her job, she lies to the people she loves and she knows fears for what it is, a useful tool for staying alive. Being a keeper isn't just dangerous. It's a constant reminder of those Mac has lost. Da's death was hard enough, but now that her little brother is gone too, Max starts to wonder about the boundary between living and dead, sleeping and waking, in the archive the dead must never be disturbed, and yet someone is deliberately altering histories, erasing essential chapters. Unless Mac can piece together what remains, the archive itself may crumble and fall. 
Oh my god, this sounds really amazing. Um, I am so excited to read this and pick it up for September. It's the perfect fall read. And even though it is still like triple digits here, I am in a fall mood. And I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna read all of the fall reads, and I am so excited to pick this up for September and for Schwabathon. And the last book um, that I haven't read that is on my list and that is on my TBR for Schwabathon is Vicious. Um, I, yes, I have not read Vicious yet. I think I'm one of the only few people who are Victoria's Swap fans that haven't read it. Um, I know it got like repackaged and the sequel Ventral just came out, which also sounds amazing. Um, and I picked this, finally picked this up. I finally was able to get a copy from the library. Um, and I'm so, so, so excited to finally pick this up. Our, um, I also have two other books to add to my TBR for Schwabathon. They would both be rereads, um, but if I get around to them, I'd like to reread City of Ghost because I know the sequel, Tunnel of Bones, I believe it's called, I'll put it here, um, is coming out in the month of September as well. Um, I really enjoyed this. It is more middle grade. Um, this is more on like the middle grade side, but I read this last year and did enjoy it. It's another like fall atmospheric book and I am ready for fall to be here. So if I get around to it, I like to try to reread this. And the book that started it all for me is obviously A Darker Shade of Magic. Um, I love this series and I don't know if I'm going to get around to a reread. I would like to do a reread of the whole series soon, but if I get around to at least reading the first book, that would be really nice. Um, but this is kind of what started it all, um, kind of where my love of Victoria Schwab began. I ended up actually, I was really, I was really excited when I found the, this UK edition at my local bookstore for like five dollars. Um, because I feel like this is like the copy that I can like read and lend out because I have all of my like US hardcover signed <laughs> stuff. They'll stay in the shed, they'll stay packaged. Um, but I am really, really excited to hopefully get to this this month as well is my TBR for September as well as Schwabathon. Um, any questions that you guys have for me, leave them down in the comments below. Any thoughts, comments, and opinions about any of these books. If you guys would like to part, if you guys are going to be participating, um, if you are, what are you going to be reading? If there's any books that I'm reading that you'd like to host, help me host a live show on, that would be pretty cool. And let me know down in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are well. Happy reading, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.